So this is the partner 4x4 four four fountain. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's four beats on either side, depending on how you count beats. It's a fun pattern because it gives you a lot of freedom in terms of being able to change positions. So G and I can step all around each other, um, which it has huge potential for performing and all kinds of fun stuff with multiple partners. <laughs> multiple partners. <laughs> <clears throat> it's also an interesting pattern because you can't do this on your own. This is only a, a pattern you can, you can do with, with a partner. But it's not actually so hard to learn. And to prove that, I'm going to get Karen to come in. And first, I'll, I'll show you a really kind of a, a shortcut to showing it to somebody who doesn't know yet. So you can only do this if you know the pattern well, and then we'll show you the slow way if you're learning it on your own. But you, you look at your, your wonderful you know, friend who you're gonna show this to, and you say, uh, put your right foot forwards. But a step, go a little back, back. So there's a little bit of space between your feet because you need room for the poi to pass through here. And then you tell them, uh, spin your poi forwards. Cross between us, cross through the bottom, but through the bottom, cross point it down at your feet, yeah. So you can cross to this, so you can stay over here and cross back. Yeah, stay over there, cross over here, cross back. All right, so it's like there's a cross point down at the ground, she can cross back and forth. And then even I put my arm here, she can cross under my arm to get to the other side and back. Right, and again, right. So first, all you need to do is, t is tell your partner, cross and hold, and then you lift their arm up, no, and you tell them on, to go over the top, you lead them back to here. So Karen crosses through the bottom, and Karen waits for me to go over the top. She goes through the bottom, and she waits for me to take her over the top, through. Yeah. And now what she, you, you tell her to cross right away, then right away cross, and then I take you and right away cross, and I take you right away cross, wait for me, and then right away cross. And I go and right away cross. And I go and right away cross. And me, and right away cross. And me, and cross. And me. And that is a really nice shortcut way to get somebody into the pattern. Cool. The next step is learning how to initiate it with poi, and for that you'd come back, so stay there, stay back on that side, awesome. And then you explain initiation. Initiation means I'm gonna cross into this space, and that's her cue to cross under my arm. And this is where we need some communication. I'm gonna go five, six, seven, eight, and go. And then we're in the pattern. Yep. And then once you've got that working on the next one, stay back on your side. Once that's working, you can eventually explain that she can initiate by crossing at the top over to me, and then I take her in that direction. Five, six, seven, eight. And then, and then again, we're in the same pattern. So this requires you know, the person leading to, to be familiar with the pattern. And then it's just a great way to spread it. You can just attack somebody and in five minutes you've got them doing the basic pattern if, if they know poi, if they know, you know the weaves and all the, all the basics already. Cool. The next step after that is to learn everything. Once you've got them going that way, you can initiate the process of learning everything the other way. So if she was spinning backwards, now she can cross at the top to the other side and back. Yeah. And even if my arm is here, she can cross like this, over my arm and back. Yeah. And then same thing, she crosses over. And in this one, I lead her through the bottom. And then she crosses over the top. You cross, and then I lead her through the bottom. So then it goes over, and I lead, and then right away, over. I lead right away, over. I lead right away, over. I lead right away, over. I lead, and you lead, and I lead, and you lead, and I lead, and you lead, and I lead. Awesome. So 
it, it's, a, it's really great to share it this way. Once you've started finding the pattern, let's come back to the first one where you're spinning forwards. Once you've basically got the pattern, and I'll initiate five, six, seven, eight. The next step to make it smooth is on each side, there's a moment where the arms unwind. You start exaggerating that into an extension. Big arm, big arm, big arm. And once you've got this, it opens and hooks, opens and hooks. Opens goes over, opens goes under. Open, go over, open, go under. Open, go over. That's when the rhythm will really come into your body. The whole pattern will make sense once you can find this. And when you go back to small, and you'll find it much easier to stay in a really nice split time with your partner.